Hi and welcome to another episode of Bleak Burn. I wasn't going to record because I decided not to record on on weekends, but <laughs> just to pace myself. But it's Sunday and I woke up super early and I decided I need to know who the Bostrom family is going to adopt. So what we are going to do is they live over here, as you all know, and we're going to go in here and see what they are up to. All right, so Niklas wants a kid. He ha he wants to have a baby, actually. He also wants to be become friends with Sandra. That's interesting. And he wants to study about parenting and reads logic skills. I'm gonna lock in to be best friends with Sandra because I'm very doubtful that this baby that I think Katarina is about to have is Niklas. So, but as you know, he has a want to marry off six children and he, uh, he is already, he's already 45. So, uh, and he hasn't been uh, very lucky in impregnating his wife, but she, she seems to be pregnant now. <laughs> But even if she is pregnant, he feels like uh, adopting some children is a good bet to, to ensure that he has a, actually has six children that he can marry off. Um, so they will all, all have to get married. So far, he has uh, Debbie here. Uh, Debbie is 15 years old and I've changed the college rules. And she wants to go to college. I'm gonna lock that in now because I changed <laughs> the rules. Before it was you could only lock it in from 16 but I changed it to 15 because I feel like then you have three years to get an A <laughs> for your 18th birthday. <laughs> so I, I was contemplating how to make the, the grades count towards college uh, in a more meaningf meaningful way. So I decided that if you're 20 years old, that's the last day before you turn into an adult in my game uh, because it's modded and you have a C and you're you want to go to college or one of your parents wants you to then you can go uh, and then if you want to go earlier you need a better grade so if you want to go at 19 you need a B and I said B minus here C minus B minus A minus just because we gotta draw the line somewhere <laughs> so if you want to go at 18 you need an A minus uh, I don't think it's a good idea to send them any earlier than than that. But now she has that locked in and that means that if she has any homework or anything, we can do them. Oh wow, I haven't given Chanel any of the benefits for her aspiration. So she's a knowledge sim, but she wants to impart knowledge. We're gonna unlock up here so, so that she learns faster. She wants to become uh, a dancer, a world-class ballet dancer, and she's well on on her way to do that uh, she's doing pretty good she is didn't I have a mod that said with what level they were in apparently not oh well she's an aerobics instructor so and she only needs one body skill point to age up we are just waiting for that to happen doing pretty good I was so sure I had a mod that told me what level they were in anyway maybe that was in the sims 4 <laughs> so she wants to reach body level 4 now um, and I have locked that in because probably be beneficial later so uh, that's all she thinks about she doesn't ever want to get any wants to get with anyone but we'll see how many since she has a lifetime aspiration to uh, do to reach the top of her job i'm gonna give her this work tree here i think this only gives her vacation days maybe it's better <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Let, let's leave it like that. Oh wow. Debbie's a fortune sh sim. And I'm gonna... No. But I'm gonna give her the needs tree just because then she will have more time to, to study for school and such. Whenever anyone has eight or more here so Katarina only needs one more then we can unlock the secondary aspiration for the next uh, aspiration point so I'm uh, very excited about that <laughs> it is five o'clock in the morning and Katarina and <laughs> Niklas decided to have some fun. Katarina uh, probably... I don't remember when they last woohooed, but now that they woohooed before Katarina got her baby bump, it is safe to say that uh, Niklas 
will believe that it is his baby that she is carrying. Oh, they both got interest on their bank accounts. That's awesome. Katarina gained an interest of 3,000 because she actually has quite a lot from her job. And Niklas got 600. So Katarina now has 53,000 simoleons. And Niklas, of course, has 15,600. Um, I was just double checking. This family is up very, very early. You know what I'm gonna do though? The pets keep glitching out because they they try to stay on the beds and some... I don't know what mod it is, but one of my mods is causing that to, to make the pets glitch out and they sink into, <laughs> into the ground like this and then they starve. So I'm gonna lock all the bedrooms to disallow pets and see if that makes a difference. We need to get that cat out of there though. Like a so. There. Now now the pet shouldn't be able to to even see the beds. Yeah, that <laughs> that solved it for them. So no pets allowed in the bedrooms. It is Monday and that means it's the last day of the season. So uh, uh, we really need to do this adoption thing today. And Niklas is off work today, which is uh, very good. He, he needs charisma and body skill to uh, progress. He's also in the dancing career, apparently. <laughs> but I'm not going to... I'm not gonna pursue that right now. Today is the first day since they moved in here that Debbie can actually receive any homework to do. She has a C right now, so she can get into college when she's 20 if she keeps this up. And now I'm contemplating a movie blocking go to college back to 16 again, but we lock this in for, for Debbie. She knows what she wants. She, sh she is a fortune sim, so it, it makes sense that she uh, would know what she wants early on. The mail just got delivered. And I think I'm gonna have Debbie <laughs> greet this fellow teen. Because we don't have many teens in my game. Uh, the played sims are all grown up or about to be babies. <laughs> Debbie also has a job on the side because she had the one to, to earn some money, which I unlocked now, so now she wants to buy a car instead. And you know what? These people have a lot of money. Maybe they should buy a car. I would love to have a driveway that went the other way too, so I had a choice. I guess we, we will make do with this. I think actually Katarina is going to withdraw some money for that so they can get a nice car. Mm. Chanel made us breakfast, nice. <laughs> there, now we can afford this not so good car. I, mm, I, I kind of feel like they would buy a better car than that. Nicholas probably wants to buy this car. We can sleep in the car? I didn't remember that. And the best car to sleep in is apparently this one. What is this? We can also have a helicopter. <laughs> uh, I think not. I think this is a suitable car for this family, but they need to withdraw some more money. Now Katarina has 48,000 on her account. And we'll try to keep track of the fact that this is actually Katarina's car. What color should we get? Mm, no. I wanted a different color than the like default one, but they're all like stripy and weird. What color is her shirt? She has like a black shirt on. <laughs> yeah, okay, Let, let's just get this one. It's it's a nice pattern, isn't it? It's flashy. <laughs> there. Now Debbie wants to teach Buster to come here, which could he's he's asleep. <laughs> and get to sit promoted to needs to learn how to speak. But it is almost eight o'clock and I think it's time for Niklas to uh, get out of bed and call the orphanage. And then also change into everyday clothes. <laughs> the orphanage is right over there. Kimi here is the orphanage intendant, so she, we will just talk to her now because we're not inviting them over. In fact, we could do that. No, we're not doing that. We're going over there. So he's talking to her. <laughs> it seems to go very well. Um, and saying, yeah, can we come over now? And she is going tennis, sumo. So <laughs> that, that probably means yes. Oh wait, did someone just miss work? Who should be going to work? No one should. Yeah, oh, oh, the cat should. Oh. 
<laughs> I get so confused about this. Okay, but Debbie is going to go to school. And Chanel is probably going to go over there also to meet the children. But ultimately it is Nicholas and Katarina that decides what child to get. So put away leftovers because I will forget that later. And I don't have a mod to, to go over there per se. So I just go to neighborhood and then <laughs> and then load into that lot and summon them. It works just as good. There, uh, <laughs> Nicholas, Katarina and Chanel just arrive at the orphanage and they have a few <laughs> children to choose from. Uh, we have little Sandra here that will not be going to school uh, because I was just realized that the school bus is here together but I cancelled her action out because uh, it's important to try and get her adopted instead. Kimmy over here is painting and we also actually have some toddlers available for adoption. Uh, these were townies that I actually aged down um, and I have decided to keep doing this. When I fill the orphanage up I've decided there they are going to have five towny children at any point and that way we should have room for any unwanted children from our played sims. Uh, I don't think there's any risk of that anytime soon, so I move these in uh, and age them down so that we have toddlers to adopt. Uh, I, I would have uh, aged them down to babies, but uh, age sim sheet doesn't do babies. So we have toddlers, and Niklas, he wants to, he met Sandra the last time they were here, so she needs to wake up now and change into every day and i think the this family will be here until 11 o'clock and i think it's a very strong chance that they will actually adopt sandra i'm just gonna let these people do what they want oh they're probably going to try and take care of the toddlers so they will get relationships with them i think or you can just hug Janelle, you know that's fine too Okay, once you're here, uh, play peekable with this child. And Katarina, you could let Sissy out. Let let the, them all out, I guess. Sandra is awake now, and she is going to come over and uh, and talk to. No, she's shy. She wouldn't. <laughs> she wouldn't do that. But she she can come over here and shyly stand here. Oh, she ran over there. <laughs> Okay, and Nicola sees her through the door. He's going to go talk to her. Chanel, what are you doing? I'm not gonna direct her to interact with any of the children, but she can if she wants. Well, he has some way until he can <laughs> call her, call Sandra his best friend, but you know, try and talk to her friendly. Maybe? Oh no, she didn't want to do that. Of course not, of course not. Talk about travels. <laughs> Maybe she's interested in travels. He's done a lot of them. Oh, Katarina is having issues. I think Katarina would like... Um, she's a pleasure sim. So I think... Oh, she has 15 with Sandra already. I think she would prefer if they adopted a child and not a toddler. Because she's about to have a little baby of her own. And it will be a handful to have a toddler as well. But... Oh, and she can't... Why can't she interact with them well they no <laughs> they cannot interact with her either so okay that's fine i guess oh he's going to tell her a joke now i feel like this is only well if she's playing there you can join her katarina you know what you could do you could do that play with broke well he this little guy is called broke i didn't name these Oh, you can't because the wall is in the way. Oh no. Well, if I put it here, would that work better? Oh, he needs to party. Party train, but okay. <laughs> Um, Kimmy didn't apparently dress today, uh, which is kind of inappropriate, so I'm just gonna have her dress real quick. So I, th I think it's pretty clear who they're gonna adopt. It makes sense to get the oldest child here because, uh, you know, Niklas only wants her to marry her off. That sounds so bad. <laughs> it wasn't me, it was the game. Um, I feel the need to say that. But I do feel, I, I think he, he wants to have a good relationship with her too. 
What is the little child doing? Nicholas is able to, to play peekaboo with the little children. Oh, he's negative two with this child. Sean here. All right. And it's almost 11 o'clock too. So yeah, um, Katarina, don't, don't just play games. Where is the nearest child to you? Well, might be one of these ones. She quite likes Bråke though. Okay, she can play peekaboo with him. What do you want to do? No, don't go squeeze her. It, it's not the appropriate time. Join Sandra instead. Because it, since he has this want to get to be best friends with her, I feel he has already made him his choice, actually. I don't even think I need to count the other ones. Oh, time's up. <laughs> You, you don't really don't get much time with the children to decide, do you? So Katarina also likes Sandra the best. And Niklas, yeah, he likes Sandra the best. So they are going to adopt Sandra. And <laughs> they could have adopted this teen here, but he has run away. How old is he? He's 14. And um, yeah, he's run away and I, I don't know how to get him back. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, maybe he'll just uh, age up like this. I don't know. He's been gone a long time. So we are going to go uh, back home now. Maybe maybe you go talk to Kimmy. Oh, she's in the shower. We'll have to wait until she gets out and tell her the decision. There you go. No, don't take a shower. Uh, go talk to her. Talk about travels. <laughs> <laughs> that seems appropriate. Who are you? Oh, well, uh, Chanel found, found a, a belay bar over here. So <laughs> she uh, got a no notification about her being very interested in music and dance. That's not her true hobby, but she's very interested in it. And he, she has a membership now. So, okay. What did she think about the children? Did she talk to any of them? No. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. There's snow in here. Why? Oh. Oh, because there's no roof here. We'll have to fix that because it will bother me. Oh, no, don't do that. Where's the regular? There it is. Well, that didn't look good. I think all of this is an auto roof anyway. So let this... Oh, oh well. It looks like this now. I hate putting roofs on, on houses. So let's just use the auto roof and ignore how bad it looks. <laughs> Quite frankly. So Nicholas has told her, uh, yeah, we really like Sandra, so we are happy to adopt her. And Kimi is, of course, happy that Sandra gets a forever home at last. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> of course, I couldn't resist making rules for that too. And uh, last time I said that at least one of the parents need to be friends with the kid then they can uh, truly adopt. But then I changed it. <laughs> so the change is that now the child needs to be friends with both the parents and one of them needs to be best friends. So that is probably why Niklas has the want to, to be best friends with Sandra because that is what is going to legalize the adoption. Mm. And if there's only one parent, then uh, you only need to be best friend with that parent, of course. So they are back home, but I'm gonna wait until 11 because they left at 11 at the orphanage, so they can't bring Sandra home until 11. Oh, if you are hungry, eat. Also, I feel a bit bad about the bedding situation in this house. Uh, we are going to say that this is Wait, yeah. This is Chanel's room, as long as she lives here. And she has a red shirt on, so I'm gonna say she likes red. And I'm gonna try and make the room a little bit more in accordance to that. At least we can have some color coordination in here. And I think Niklas is going to extract some money so that Sandra can ha have her own room. I don't know how we're gonna do that with the layout, though. Maybe we can move this over. I'm gonna make this into a hallway I think. So he is gonna withdraw 5,000 and we'll see if he can put something back later but I want I want a budget. Thank you. We will lose some windows into this uh, hallway slash they don't have a living room either. Hmm. Okay so <laughs> I changed the layout a bit over here and I gave Debbie a very red room. 
<laughs> red room. And I left Sandra's room quite undone because I want to check her out before I decide what to do with her room. But over here we have uh, little Debbie's room. So she has a mirror because I think that's important to her. <laughs> and a little wardrobe thingy uh, and a dresser that I think might be from the far east. I don't know. And then I tried to make the room in the colors of her robe that she keeps wearing. So yeah, Nicholas can go. Where did I I put the computer here in the hallway because I think, you know, family computers tend to end up in places like that. And so he can go deposit back like 500 once he has given the pets food. Oh, it's quite mean to disallow pets into the bedroom and then put the pet bed in there. So I'm just gonna put it here and hope it doesn't block too much. I used one of these archways just because I think they're pretty. <laughs> What's happening over here? We are getting the mail for the day. Oh yay, bi bills! What are you up to? Are you gonna steal our newspaper? Yeah, you are. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, what are you? What are you going? Oh. The Sim City Chamber of Commerce would like to show its appreciation for your patronage by offering you this coupon. Good for a free meal for you and your guests at any of our fine restaurants. Or the not so fine ones, your choice. Yeah, I tend to forget I have those, but maybe I'll remember it sometime. <laughs> It is 11 o'clock, so it is time to add Sandra to our household. So we are going to summon her here. Here she is. And I didn't know what uh, last name to give her, so she is actually called Sandra Yamaragi, which is a bit odd because that's the last name of the orphanage intendant. But pay no mind to that. <laughs> we are going to change it later. So now we want to have her move in. There she is. So now she's a full member of our household. There, and we can check her out. Her personality, she is, uh, she's a private school student because the orphanage intendant made all the children uh, eligible for private school. It was actually Stephen that wanted that, but then he ran away. Anyway, she is fairly neat. She's pretty shy. And then the, these ones are pretty neat neutral. So she's neat and shy and she's very interested in travel actually and the paranormal. So she is probably very happy to be a part of this family where Nicholas, he likes to go to the far east. He has a home there and I've decided uh, in the future you we might actually have them travel there and if if the whole family doesn't travel to the far east then i'm gonna move the ones that traveled into the bin actually and and play the rest for that time they were away like if they are away three days i'm gonna play the rest for three days and then move the family back in and if all of them travels then i'm just gonna change the time when they get back. So, and Sandra is wearing something quite, is it yellow or beige or something? So we're gonna go off of that and try to decorate her room now that we know her colors. We can, are these good actually? No, I don't, I don't like them. These are pretty fun, but I don't, I don't really think so. Maybe I just do the, this color is quite bright though. This one is pretty good. Let's just do that. Just because we, we need a color, color theme. I don't know if I should upgrade all everyone's beds or not. No, I'm gonna keep with the white over there. It's nice. She wants night paranormal. Well, maybe if she likes paranormal, maybe she wants a telescope. We can afford one and we can put it here by the window. Whoops. Um, okay, let's put another window because this was hard. <laughs> There we go. And she has a dresser. What else do you need in a bedroom? Well, you might want a lamp. I'm gonna put this lamp in Debbie's room. Oops, that limited our cho choices unless I wanna go and withdraw even more money. I think I'm just gonna do one of these. I like these. These are very nice. And it kind of looks like a planet, doesn't it? Why do you want that there? Maybe. I'm gonna put it over there. 
We should have some toys too. Okay, Nicholas, you will have to... It is Nicholas that wants to adopt, so it's his money <laughs> that's coming out of the bank account. And I think, Sandra, you can just go and jump on this bed <laughs> and I'll get you some toys or something. Where's all the toys? Oh, there it was. I'm gonna get her this play box because she likes the paranormal. Even though it, it, it clashes with the decor, but it's a children's room, it's fine. And then I think I'm gonna get her a little desk as well, so that she can make her homework. And then this little spacey chair. In The Sims 4 we have this spaceship lamp and now I can kind of want it. I think this will go in Debbie's room. If someone didn't put the bills on her little desk. I lost the thing that I wanted to put in there. This matches the... So many pretty lamps! There. I think this lamp is very pretty. I want a little desk lamp. Well, maybe we just do one of these. Like that. We can add more things later. But for now, she's gonna <laughs> jump in her bed and... Maybe she wants to look through this. Uh, <laughs> people on the neighbors. <laughs> They don't have neighbors this way, but, you know. They live next to the church, I just realized. Okay. And I think uh, Sandra is going to have this day off uh, from school. We're not gonna drive her to school. We could, but sh she gets this day off. Oh, uh, Niklas is going to. All right, okay. Who was going to work today? Katarina is going to work today. Oh, she wants to stay home for work. Uh, she also wants to have f five first dates. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna let her stay home today. <laughs> it will be the last day she goes to work before she gets uh, maternity leave. Nicholas and Katarina's room is uh, very boring still. <laughs> Well, maybe we will fix that in another episode, but now they have room here if they have children to put cribs and stuff. And this family has the opportunity to put a TV here, I guess. Like, if someone wants a TV, I don't know. Debbie wants to buy a green energy source, okay? It's somewhere under decorations, apparently. We can't afford this. You got soul thingy. Must be placed on a floor tile. This is very weird. I'm just gonna place it here, oddly. And now she wants to stargaze. <laughs> well, the telescope is um, not available at the moment, also the stars are not, not out. But I'm gonna lock that in for her because uh, it's a typical knowledge him to do that. Debbie's grades are improving, so now she is a B student, which means she is allowed to go to college when she is 19. Since she wants to go to college, uh, I'm gonna say that she wants to do her homework. She needs a desk in her room too. Oh my goodness. Well, uh, Debbie needs some fun before she goes to work, so I'm just gonna let her... Oh, find out she that she likes this science activity. We didn't know that, I think. Do we have a list of things that you could do? I have this column in my spreadsheet that says sub hobby um where we could like if she is like science then maybe she her hobby is watching through telescope or i don't know weather or something but i don't remember how i did that i will have to look that up for later but for now i guess the telescope is the only option she has oh i don't know when this happened but sandra has film and literature as her true hobby so we are finding out stuff today i think then sandra might want a tv in a room or a bookcase and debbie would want the telescope but i can fit at the in here so uh, well it's gonna have to be like this right now they can use each other's. Maybe they should switch rooms. I don't know. Sandra isn't doing so well at school because she skipped school today. Oh, she has a D. She will have to pick that up. She she wants to get an A. <laughs> so, so that would be hard if you don't go to school. But we will fix that in the next season. Aren't you going to go to work now? What is happening? Why, uh, why is Anton here? What? Oh, <laughs> when you look through a telescope, then the some sim is going to come over and shove you because you are uh, peeping at them. 
they don't like that. So th that's uh, that's one way to get to know Anton, I guess. But now they hate each other. Oh, here comes Jackie. Well, I think uh, Chanel would want to greet her. Always so hungry. Well, they have leftovers. She can also pay the bills. 578. Nicholas is apparently tired, but I think maybe we try and have a little nice family meal, cult meal household, because Nicholas wants to become uh, best friends with Sandra, so I'm going to try and work on that. Oh, there's no more. <laughs> there's no more to eat. Uh, get get the other leftovers then, and uh, we can offer Jackie some food as well. Cult meal guests. Oh, I hope Sandra likes it here. I mean, they are trying to, to get her to, to like it here. They're giving her a big room and everything. I was like, let's just get a bed in a small room. <laughs> that will do, but actually it, it will not. But if we are going to get more children, I will. I think we'll have to get a second floor. And I don't know how to architect that. But maybe we can put a staircase here and move this door over one. Tile. Jackie Schoen here is actually Niklas' foster child, but she's all grown up. She went to college and moved out, but now she's here to visit. And Chanel can't get enough of dancing. I was going to change her out of this um, workout out outfit because she is a dancer, not a football player. But I figured she is a bit of a. She's always been a bit of a tomboy, and I think she's doing dance her own way, and that means not in a girly way, even though it's ballet. <laughs> so she is. She's gonna keep these clothes, I think. Who, who is this car for here? Is it for the one of the pets? Yeah, I, I keep kind of neglecting the pets, uh, it seems. The cat is low on energy on and on scratch. You have a scratching pole here, can't you use it? Um, is there something in the way? What is this? Some kind of broken cat toy, I think. I'm gonna put it outside. Can you go scratch? And someone uh, dug up the lawn? Well, I'm gonna ignore that for now. Where did Sandra go? Oh, she went to sleep here. You're not supposed to sleep there, child. You're supposed to sleep over here. This is your room. Oh, go here. <laughs> oh, look, she has a nightgown on. I wonder why she didn't use this door. Okay, everyone aged up. Niklas is now 46. Katarina is 29. Debbie is 26. And no, Chanel is 26. <laughs> and Debbie is 16. I thought that didn't make sense. And Sandra is now 8. Okay, now Niklas is sleeping in here in Debbie's room. That's not right. Stop it. <laughs> Everyone seems to be very tired after this day. It's been an eventful day, I think. They redecorated the whole house, <laughs> remodeled and everything. So, oh no, now you don't know where to sleep either. You're supposed to sleep here. <laughs> I think there's a mod somewhere where you can assign beds, but I don't have it. But maybe they will learn. I don't know. Nobody paid the bills. Maybe Katarina can do that when she gets home. Now Debbie has returned from work. She is very low on her fun need. Maybe she can praise the cat. She wants to interact with the cat. Oops. Ah, what's happening? <laughs> Katarina has been promoted to freelance web designer. The move from freelance photographer to freelance web designer isn't a big step in responsibility. But to the internet illiterate who don't know that your word processor does all the HTML layout for you, it's still pretty impressive. Play it cool, convince as many friends as you can that you're on the cutting edge of everything hip, and you might find yourself invited into SimCity's elite inner circle. All right, so now she works from 10 a.m to 3 p.m. starting immediately and she brought home quite a lot of money today 933 and a bonus of a thousand simoleons so I'm gonna keep that money out I think I think she's gonna deposit 2,000 of that into her bank account 2,000 
Oh, and she got her baby bump. <laughs> she probably would have gotten it sooner if she hadn't been at work. But now she is uh, definitely showing. Oh no, she's all worried and stuff. What are you worried about? You're in gold desperation. Maybe you, maybe she's very worried that she is married to one man and this baby in her belly is probably someone else's. But she's not gonna. <laughs> she's afraid of being rejecting for asking a sim out and she's afraid that Nicholas is going to reject a dance and have a bad conversation with him. Well, I think she, I think we're gonna wake Nicholas up and she's gonna go talk to him about this baby that they are going to have. Debbie just has to get her fun up. Maybe she could like dig for treasure before she fills this in. My rule says you're allowed one dig for treasure when there's a hole like this. So she she's gonna do that. Maybe we sh she will find something that will go towards her college funds. She doesn't need to worry because Nicholas and Katarina is going to set her up. Oh, I missed this. <laughs> well, uh, Katarina has told Nicholas that she is expecting a child and he is very excited. And he is very happy that they are going to have a little kid in the house. He wants a baby, so he will. he's excited that that is going to happen. Debbie did not find anything useful in here so uh, she found a water pipe that's <laughs> not as good as treasure she will just fill that in and try something else she needs to be on the green here to be able to do her homework which she wants to do because she wants to go to college maybe she could play with the pet is it fun for them to teach the cat a command or is it boring I, I can't remember Katrina once again has 50,000 on her bank account uh, nobody filled this in well, did the cat just hiss at her? I don't know. Oh, yeah, it seems seems like that. Well, try and pet it and see if that works well. She's in the green. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm, I'm gonna let her do what she does. Oh, the cat went to sleep. She is in the green now very slightly, so she can just try and do the homework. Maybe she can ask uh, Katarina for homework help. I was hoping she could ask Jackie, but apparently not. Can't you see I'm in a bad mood? No, I couldn't see that because I thought I thought you weren't. Well, she's busy playing with the brick. Let's let's queue it up from both ends. That usually helps because then the other person isn't busy with something else. Let's do the homework. Yes, it's very late, so they need to get a move on with doing that. It will be a struggle to get these done, but at least if she gets help, then it will go a little bit faster, I think. What happened now? Oh! No, she doesn't want to. Now Katarina is tired, <laughs> but Niklas is full of energy now. All right, well, oh, you can search for constellations. Oh, she can't because she needs fun in order to do that. Maybe she will find something else. That is fun to do. Oh, this brick is very uh, popular. <laughs> yeah, that is a fun brick. Oh, well, she's going to sleep now. Well, that's unfortunate. And little Sandra is up. <laughs> I can't get them to sleep. Okay, maybe Nicholas hears her get up and she he can play with her. Don't play catch. That, that's a good thing to do. Actually, swing around is very funny. Hey, since you're up, even though it's a in the middle of the night, should we play catch? Yes. But then also swing around because it's a, such a cute animation. That's enough of that. <laughs> no, she doesn't want to be swung around. Okay. What is wrong with the dog? Does it need a bath? Do we have a bathtub? Yes, we do. Everyone's asleep. Jackie has decided it's too late. Yeah. She will go home now. When you gain the energy first, maybe you will want to play some Sims. Maybe that will get your fun up. And then when you're done with that, do the homework. Yep, that did it. What are you doing? Oh, oh! Oh, she's doing tricks. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> this auto lights really doesn't work. Well, it's fine, I guess. She wants to play a computer game now. Well, let's let's do that then. We can also play Sims. I I feel that uh, Sandra probably thinks she got into a good home. Uh, she she likes Nicholas a bit, but she has a long way to go before she's friends with him. We'll see how it goes. Didn't I tell? 
Telling you to wash Buster. Oh look, Debbie is serving breakfast at 5 a.m. Well, why not? <laughs> they are very... They don't sleep much in this family, do they? Well, if everyone else is eating breakfast, Sandra, come join them. Katarina now wants to reach the top of the slacker career. So I'm, I try, I'm, I'm going to lock that in for her since she wants to do that. And then that, that means she needs a charisma skill point and we can like take it easy on the dates. However, her lifetime want is to have 50 dream dates, but I think she, she, she can pause that for a while. She has a baby on the way. Uh, they have two kids already in the house that needs to be taken care of and they probably want to get more so they they can need the money well have breakfast even though there's no place for you to sit so you can <laughs> you can just eat somewhere else oh debbie get, got up that's convenient she managed to do her homework that's good but I think I'm gonna leave this family here. Oh my god, everyone is watching Sandra. She's telling some story about when she won a trophy in some contest or something. Such a cute family. They're all gathered here in the kitchen having breakfast. And uh, that that's the end of this episode. And also the end of the season for the Bostrom family. We only have the Rongedals left to play for one more day in this season and then we will go into season three. No, actually, we also have one more year uh, of university to play for Mindy here and then <laughs> we are done with this season. And then it will be spring. It has been winter all this season and uh, springtime is um, when all the romance happens because that hasn't been happening yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that will be interesting to see. Uh, maybe we'll have a baby boom in in the summertime i don't know <laughs> but until next time i see you don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and have a super duper time stay safe and take care bye